Take out your pencil and notebook because it's going to be really quick. So the formation is a 4-2-3-1. Four, 4 defenders, 2 defensive midfielders, 3 attacking midfielders, and 1 striker. This is what the final version of my team looks like. As you can see, it's a very very basic. If you're wondering why Holland is on the bench, you're probably a Man City fan and we have nothing to talk about. Now I'm sure your team is either better or worse than mine, but no matter what, this formation will work for you. Next is the tactics, the defensive style, you keep it on balanced. The midfield is so thick that you don't need your players pressuring right away. Widths can be at 35, depth 55 works. For build up play, we'll go fast build up. You're trying to go through the midfield as quickly as possible and you have many players in there to do so. Chance creation is on direct passing. This will allow your players to make runs behind the defense. You notice how your players just stand there while the other team is going straight through you that's that's what you want for yourself of course with just take these numbers down 40 players in the box stuff them all in there you want that whole box to be filled with your players go all the way up until there's only two left i don't want to count all those squares corner and free kick can be three each three is enough for your three midfielders and the striker now for the left back you want them to stay back while attacking interceptions is going to be aggressive for every single player on this list except uh, i believe the defensive midfielders now for my right back i did make him go up while attacking because he's a special case where he is just super fast so he's going to overlap and he's going to help out with the attack now you want your two defensive midfielders to stay where they are you don't want them to leave anywhere because everybody else above them is leaving so you want them to keep their position as solid as possible so defense position cover center make sure they stick to position they do not go anywhere tight marking tight marking as soon as they get the ball you want them to have no room to breathe make sure you put stay back while attacking i alternated who does the normal interception and who does the aggressive one between my two defensive midfielders next we have the three attacking midfielders as you can see none of them have pace for defensive supports make sure they're all staying forward you want them at the you want them on the opponent's side of the field at all times support on cross they need to be in the box for the positioning freedom the two right center attack emits will be allowed to roam but the one in the center needs to stay there and like i mentioned interceptions aggressive now for my striker he's a very special case because he is very slow you'll see it in the gameplay coming up you want him to stay central because he cannot afford to be moving anywhere he's not going to come back to the box in time his attack and runs is get him behind he is slow but he'll still he can still find their blind spots make sure he's always staying forward you don't need that one striker to be playing def defense so you got the numbers you got the tactics but you need to know how to play the game now i want you to look at his team and then look at my team okay we'll, we'll pause it because we need we need to look at that team again now just going based off purely numbers and purely color wise you would think his team will absolutely dominate mine we start off the game with a corner because why not this is the first opportunity of the game i don't know how he managed to get over my player but it is what it is following that in typical ea fashion my goalie decides the best player to pass it to is the one that's instantly covered unfortunately we managed to block the first shot but it did not stop there because i do this <laughs> So now after seeing this goal, you probably want to click off the video, but come on, I'm a YouTuber. I'm not going to show my losses. Something to keep in mind is that this is my first time using this formation, so I'm still adjusting to it as well. Right now, what's killing me is my passing. I'm not sure why I keep doing these kind of passes, and I leave the midfield open. I did not switch the player on time. So we're down 2-0. It's only eight minutes in. Now this is where the adjustment kicks in. So we push out to attacking, and suddenly I remember that I have like 10 midfielders. So I started playing through the mid. This is a shot on goal from the distance, just to give me confidence. The corner is very beneficiary to us because we have a tall man in the middle called Marata. And this is why you take every chance you get. Now you're probably thinking that's just a corner, you know, it's not part of the formation. How is that helping me? Keep watching. Here you're going to see the aggressive interception payoff. Watch this. That man has never stretched his leg that far before. On conservative, he's not going to reach that. So now we play out to the wing. And I don't know what that pass was. But look, another aggressive interception. If I was just any better, <laughs> these these interceptions would lead to a goal. So now we have to counterattack. And remember, we play through the midfield. And then from the midfield is where we spread it around. Back to the midfield. That was a missed pass, but I get the ball back because interception, aggression. Another chance blocked corner and if there's anything we do with corners we score them so another tip for the corners remember the ball is curling if you read at the bottom under the ball it says inside foot curled so you don't want to aim it where you want it to go you want to aim it to the right or to the left of the curl and for the amount of bars you give it's about three and a half now he loves playing down the wing but i have learned my lesson i've adapted by now 
another interception. He just can't find a way to get the ball to his strikers. So I'm kind enough to just give him the ball back each time. Of course, pace abuser down the wing again. But we all know what he's going to do. He's not going anywhere. Just stick with him. Trust me. Morata with his concrete feet is not going anywhere. So you just have to pass it off. I get lucky with the deflection. But what a shot. What a beauty with that goal. Midfielders are some of the underrated, the most underrated shooters in this game. Especially when it comes to finesse shots. That's why it helps that your midfielders are constantly running to the box. Again, he has he's forced to go to the wing. This time it's not even by choice. It's just simply the midfield is just too packed. All my players are in the midfield. He has nowhere to go but the wing. And as long as you can work on your wing defense and keep them to the edge. And earlier I mentioned about my left, my right back being allowed to go forward. And this is the reason. His pace is just too good not to use. Another finesse shot attempt. It was blocked this time. It's okay. S stay on the bench, Hala. Again, aim away from who you're aiming for. Just slightly. And if, if I was any better at this game, this would go in. If it was you guys, if you guys took this, it would go in. You will need to sub out your center backs. Keep yourself for your center back because they're going to get tired the fastest. Now I need to pause this here because look at how many players are in my box right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> it's the starting, <laughs> the starting 11 minus Murata is in the box defending and because most of them are midfielders when they leave the box to, to go to their position they're all streaming through the middle so there is no way you can take a shot through the middle now we're in the second half and believe me i have adapted he runs down the wing tries to go to the middle but again no space plus the interception they just cannot get through at all and you can see right here i just follow him too far and that leaves a wide open gap behind and luckily he doesn't know the offside rule and to be honest, I don't either. I thought he scored, but we got away from that one. So be careful when you're calling a support player not to drag your players out of their position. Now he plays it down the wing. This time I overstep and then I pull my other player out of position again. So back to back mistakes cost me this. I lose the ball again. He goes to the wing because he has no choice, but he plays it back through the midfield. He doesn't learn interception aggression. Keep it in mind again. Now we're on the counter attack. We have someone running down the wing. Look, we have three people going to the box already. Passes it to one, and I don't know what I pressed. I, I don't think it was I don't think it was any shape on my controller. But again, <laughs> keep counting those interception aggressions. You will need them, trust me. We're still playing through the midfield, trying to find anybody open. We find Kimmich, and I need a new controller. Now our ankles might have gotten broken, but our, our hearts are still going strong. Look, Murata running behind the defense, of course, exactly like you inst instructed him. Now, remember, midfielders and the box. Underrated, I'm telling you, they are better than most strikers in this game. Now, when you see goals like that, you're probably thinking it's luck. You know, he got lucky. How did he get so wide open? Trust me, it's not luck. Another interception again, because the midfield is just packed. I don't know why I keep trying to pass it to the midfield. Murata, even with his 32 pace, is still going strong. Breaks his ankles. Breaks his ankles again and easy goal and guess who it's modric again you need these midfielders packing inside their box you just need them to camp there again another interception because interception say it with me aggression off the chest beautiful goal i don't know how he injured his leg <laughs> but i'm glad he did after he scored the goal now i will pause here just to show you how exhausted your players are gonna be this is i'm not even sure how many minutes into the game look modric gone this guy gone Marquinhos gone everybody's gonna be gone especially he has been attacking my whole left side constantly so this is a big reason why and honestly it just depends on the kind of place that you like I love playing down the left wing it's just what I do and as a result you can see my left side is just drained so you can expect a lot of injuries because your players are going to be absolutely fatigued now I will tell you a weakness of this formation like I told you is just the absolute exhaustion of your players and running down the wing is just easy for them once that happens but he's or he already got PTSD from the midfield being packed, so he's just taking a shot from anywhere. And here we go, another sub, another injury for my player. So you need those injury cards on deck. Now, unfortunately for him, we don't have it any more subs, so we just told him to dug it out. And the game ends 5-3. Now, it took me a bit of time to adjust to the formation. I'm used to playing down the wing, so trying to play through the middle and trying to keep the middle steady was an adjustment that I had to make. These are the stats if you care to look at all. Now if I can go out there and whip on icons with this goal team, I'm sure you can do a whole lot better with the same or even better team. I just want to highlight two players real quick. My 
Morata, he has no pace, but he has one of the best shootings and the best headers. He is way better than Haaland, personally, for me in this game. And then another shout out would be to Modric. I don't know what they did to him in this game, but this man does not miss any shots. His passes are always perfect. Aside from him getting tired 20 minutes into the game, he's just one hell of a player and really fun to play with. I will do more tactics and more formations like this in the future. Let me know if it works for you. And a uh, shout out to uh, DexErto.com. That is the website that I got this idea from. Thank you for watching. Uh, consider subscribing and liking. I would appreciate that a lot. Have fun and God bless you all.